It was a hot morning here at day two, Redskins minicamp, but that didn't stop RG3 from looking good. Of course, he wasn't the only one, obviously, beating the heat. Griffin continued drills off to the side, still focusing on his rehab. He is really confident he'll be in top condition by the start of training camp. I am feeling better, so that's, that's a positive sign. And, you know, when it comes to training camp, it's just a matter of how my body feels when I get back on uh, July 25th before we go down to Richmond, and we'll go from there. But, I mean, I, I mean I've said a bunch of times I'm pretty confident I'll be ready. While RG3 is working hard to get back in the game, most of the guys are working hard to simply make a name for themselves. Former first-round pick from West Virginia, quarterback Pat White is staying optimistic. It starts from within, so me believing and me learning as much as possible, me working as hard as possible, and let the chips fall where they may. Let's hope it works here. The Redskins should also have a lot to look forward to from linebacker Brian Arakpo. Arakpo is taking every practice to his advantage after missing almost all of last season with a torn left pectoral muscle. Man, I missed that Seahawks game. I'm kind of salty about that, but, uh, you know, just kind of pick up where we left off last year. Hopefully, you know, I can, you know, the, uh, myself and the defense can uh, continue to play as well as we did in OTAs and minicamp and carry throughout the season. So I'm just out here uh, giving my all 100%. As minicamp comes to an end, the Redskins will have six weeks off until their official training camp starts at the end of July. With ABC 7 News, this is Shannon Hall.